Hey, it's the French student here, and today I'm gonna show you a little program I created that is the number guessing game with a graphical user interface using JavaFX. So let me just showcase the program. So the number guessing game is a pretty simple game that's often made as one of the first projects when starting to learning programming. And what it very simply is, is that you get a number between 0 and some random number. In this case, it's just two O's between 0 and 100. And you then guess on a number, let's say, for example, I guess 50. I'm then told if my number is larger than, or smaller than, or is this one. And you might actually tell I have been cheating, at least for the first number. So the first number I get just right here in the console. So randomly, actually, we got 69. So 50, I need to have a larger number. I'm told it's larger than with the up arrow. So if I said uh, 80, for example, I would be told it's smaller than. And in this case, if I guess 69, I'm told it's the number. And as you can see the button, I count how many guesses you made. I can then reset. And now I got a random number. So now actually let's try playing the game for real. So I start at 50. Smaller than, I'd go 25. It's larger than, I'd go 35. It's larger than, I'd go 40. It's smaller than, so no, no, it's between 35 and 40. So 36, 38, 37. There we go. And I made it in seven castles. And normally the, the basic rules for this game is to get it within 10 castles. So that's pretty much the game. Let me showcase how it's set up. So first, inside Scene Builder, just very simply have some text, a button to reset the game, input of my guess, and I have three images stacked, which is the up arrow, the down arrow, and the correct icon, I guess. And in the button, I have my guess counter, which is just some text as well. Inside my controller, which is connected to my FXML, which contains my user interface, I then just very simply have all my elements, FXML elements, then created an initialized method, which is a method called before the window is done loading, where I just create a random number. And then at first print the random number as you saw. So in last time it was 69, now I got 70, which is pretty random. Actually 69, 70, and let's see. Yeah, as you can see 43 random numbers. I then set all the images to be invisible. So set visible to false. And then whenever I enter a number and hit enter, which gives an input, it checks if it matches if the guess number matches the random number, if it does, I set my correct image to visible and just keep everything else invisible. In this case, I can just set something visible and I'll, I would automatically set the other one invisible if they were already visible. So let's see if it was larger than, set down arrow to visible. And of course, if it's smaller than, up arrow to visible. And I'll then simply increase my guess counter, which is the counter on the button by one and update the guess counter text. When I click reset, I create a new number, set all the images to visible, set my guess counter to zero, and reset the guess counter text. So that's pretty much the setup for my little guessing game with a graphical user interface using JavaFX. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful day.